Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the Dino Dungeon, okay? So today, we have lots of craps right here on the table, okay? To add to our collection. I've actually done some research and named every single crap right here. And uh, we also have some streams, so I'm very excited. All these are new species that we are going to add to our collection, so I'm super, super happy. Our craps collection is actually... Um, right here so we're gonna put them into this box today together so let's do this all right guys so let's begin okay there are so many different ones so let's have a look at this one right here it's a really beautiful hermit crab as you guys can see we do have a hermit crab in our collection but this one has a very smooth shell and you guys know that you know hermit crabs are basically um you know a crab without shell and they have to locate their own shells that are left over by other um, sea animals so right here we have quite a beautiful one okay so it actually comes with a little tag but it doesn't have the name of this um, you know creature on the tag which is quite a pity so take a look at this this is a really beautiful hermit crab as you guys can see the body is more or less the same except for the shells so the shells can be any shells okay so beautiful hermit crab i'm gonna put this one right here okay next up let's have a look at this um okay what about this one what is this guys is this a spider crab i think so i think this it's a really really beautiful spider crab we don't have any spider crabs in our collection we do have a king crab right here okay this is a king crab this is our first spider crab you, you guys can see um the claws and the legs are actually very very long and this material is actually made of um pretty soft rubber so it's kind of like safe i would say really beautiful one um the left pencil seem to be slightly distorted but you can see quite a beautiful figure all right let's move on to our next one okay this one is a really beautiful um hairy crab so i've actually written the name right here so it's a hairy crab and um they actually come in different colors so i've purchased the one which is in um, orange and black and i think this one looks really good our first hairy crab, you can see the two huge claws are really big, these two pincers. Of course, you are not able to see the hair because this is like a, a toy. Uh, but they've basically put um, some of this, you know, some detailing done to make it look like some um, hair. So I think this is looking pretty good. Okay, so a hairy crab. All right. Um, let's move on to the next one. Okay, what is this? This is actually a soldier crab, guys. So, um, I think they can be found in Australia. I've done some research, but I can't really remember. But yeah, I think this today's video is basically for us to, um, you know, take a look at every single crab. But you know, for the facts, uh, I'll tell you more in the next video. You know, when we do more research. Okay, so this is a really beautiful one, soldier crab. Our first one our one and only um soldier crab i would say really really cool looks really cute like a blue crab right here okay next let's take a look at this this is our first shrimp figure so it's not a crab it's a shrimp so let's have a look at this quite a cute little shrimp i would say it has like two very long fillers and you can see uh, they actually use a kind of like translucent plastic to um, create this so it actually looks quite realistic in a way so that's our first shrimp in our entire collection i don't think we have any shrimps in our box uh, right here okay we'll we'll have a look at this box later on as well okay okay i'm gonna put this one right here next up what is this this is another hermit crab so i've actually got a different you know many many different hermit crabs so this is basically like a small hermit crab and of course it's using a, a different shell so hermit crabs they have very very soft body which is why they have to hide inside shells okay to protect their bodies and you can see hermit crabs um, the body are more or less the same but of course the shells depend on which shells they are they are getting they can find okay next up 
Um, this one is actually known as a kiwa, okay, which is also known as a yeti crab. In Chinese, it actually means um, xueranxie, which means snowman crab, but it is, you, you don't really translate it to, uh, you know, directly like snow. Basically, if you translate it di directly, it basically means snowman crab, but yeti is, you know, is a... Uh, it's like a, a, a myth that lives in the snow, so this is a um, yeti crab right here, okay? It is a kind of like invertebrate, I, I, I think. Really, really nice, I would say. Okay, next up. This is a fiddler crab, also known as a calling crab. So let's get this out of the pack. So this crab is actually very, very um, easily recognizable because it only has one huge pencil only one huge pencil so it's known as a fiddler crab or also known as a calling crab very very cool our one and only fiddler crab in our collection right now so really happy to have this okay next up we have a king crab so this king crab is more or less the same you know as the one that we have in our collection i'm gonna, I'm gonna do like a comparison so you can see this king crab is actually from Collecte. It's really, really nicely done. And um, this one is actually not, not as detailed, but still a pretty good figure. Yep, still a pretty good figure. So this is a king crab. There is another king crab right here, but this is a smaller version, like a baby king crab. Yeah, that's like a giant king crab. Oh throw away all these tags i don't think we can do anything with them there, there isn't any name or facts so here's another king crab right here yeah this is pretty red in color as compared to this all right next up we have a portuner's crab yeah i don't think i can remember the name of this crab moving on so hopefully we are still able to um you know recognize it okay have a look at this portuner's crab right here I mean, if I got the names wrong, please correct me, okay? So, it, it looks like a blue crab. Yep. We do have one which is, um, you know, kind of like similar. If you take a look at this, even the body is um, the same. So, it could be the exact same one. It could be um, a blue crab as well. What do you guys think? So, I've done some research. It actually says that this is a Portuner's crab. Okay, next up. This is the one which I am not exactly sure what it is. Um, in Chinese, it was written as, um, you know, direct translation. It's like a red flower crab. So I'm not too sure whether this can be considered a flower crab. Um, so I need the help of you guys to name this one right here. Yeah, it's a really pretty looking crab. The colors on this is really beautiful. I loved, um, you know, the blue claws, the blue pencils. The red and the black body looks really nice as well on the shell. Okay, next up, we have two more. Two more hermit crabs in our collection. So, have a look. So, a different hermit crab right here. Beautiful, with a different shell. So, I think these two shells are very similar, just that they have painted it um, in a different color. Yeah, very cool. And our last one is also another hermit crab but it's a mini version it's like a baby hermit crab so you can see it's still very tiny so as they grow old they have to find like bigger shells to um, hold themselves very cool so as you guys can see majority of um our new crabs are actually like um hermit crabs so let's take a look at some of the our older invertebrates we have um a lobster with a king crab right here um, today, let's focus more on um, crabs and um, invertebrates, lobster. And this, it's the three eye crab. You can find like three eyes on his body. Really, really beautiful one. This one seems to be using the exact same uh, scalp. Yeah, it could be like, you know, the, the same figure. Okay, let's see what else we've got. This is the um, Sally like foot crab. Okay, um, we have some you know, prehistoric squids right here. This is actually a, a balamite, okay? A reef squid, okay? Chambered Nautilus, uh, we got this very recently as well. This is an ammonite, so you can see, you know, uh, it is also a prehistoric animal. 
this one is like a living fossil. It's it basically existed millions millions of years ago, and it still exists today. A horseshoe crab, beautiful one. Uh, we have a lobster right here. This is a very very beautiful lobster. This one is uh, known as a Pravitoceras. Okay, and uh, let's see what else we've got. Another crab right here, a brown crab. And um, this is an octopus. Okay. Another octopus. I think this one is from Peppo. Really, really beautiful figure. We have a seahorse right here. A lobster. Um, this one seemed to be a... Uh, I think it's a spider crab. It's a mini spider crab. You can see the shape of the body. It's um, pretty similar to this one. Okay, you have a jellyfish right here. This is a coconut crab. We got this, um, you know, a couple of months back. Quite a beautiful figure. Um, jellyfish. Uh, oh yes, we also have a shrimp. So that is actually not our first shrimp figure. It is our second shrimp figure. Okay, octopus. Um, giant squid. Another squid right here. Dungeness crab. Okay, really beautiful one uh, from Peppo. WDC Dragon. The rest are basically like penguins and... Um, okay, this silo camp shouldn't be in this box. Uh, yeah, the rest are basically, you know, polar bears and penguins. Another squid right here. Yeah, this tiny little whale shouldn't be in this box. This Ichthyosaurus probably shouldn't be in this box as well. Yeah, so you can see. Um, another octopus. Yeah, the rest I won't show it to you guys. Okay, here's another seahorse. The rest are basically like polar bears and uh, penguins. So, yeah, thanks for watching this video, okay? So, um, yeah, I think in the next video, I'll probably show you um, the crabs again, but with more details. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, check this out, guys. Come right here. So you can see, we actually have a few more new fish to open up. So probably stay tuned for Wednesday's video because we will be taking a look at all the new fishes that we have just acquired. Very happy, okay? So thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Goodbye.